The funeral rites for Mrs. Rosalind Ezema Akwabweze started with a vigil mass at St. Gabriel's Catholic Church, Ifitedunu, in Dunukofia, local government area of Anambra State. Born in February 1943, Mrs. Akabweze breathed her last on July the 17, 2017, after a fruitful life on earth as a Christian woman, a society lady, and the mother of seven successful sons. The evening mass held in her honor at her local parish witnessed the presence of dignitaries and fellow worshippers who took to the church to join her children, led by the Director General of the Budget Office of the Federation, Mr. Ben Akabwezi, to celebrate the vigil mass. <laughs> The reality of the departure of their mother stares them right in the face. They've indeed lost a dear one. The next day, the food burial rites commence as the body of late Mrs. Rosin Akabwezi arrived at her compound. Mrs. Rosalind Akagweze is said to be a society woman who participated in activities that brought about progress in both her family and the community. From the family compound, the body was taken straight to St. Gabriel's Catholic Church for the Requiem Mass, where the Bishop of Oka Catholic Diocese, Most Reverend Paulinus Ezo Kafo, officiated. The Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, the Anambra State Governor, Willie Obiano, the Minister of Labor and Productivity, Dr. Chris Ngege, Minister of Budget and National Planning, Udoma Udo Udoma, the wife of the former Governor of Lagos State, Mrs. Abimbola Fashola, Senator Uche Ekunife, as well as other distinguished dignitaries were in attendance. <laughs>
The vice president and the governor of Anambra State paid growing tributes to Mrs. Rosalind Akabwezi. We are here, of course, to celebrate the life of our dear mother, and we are here you know, as um, friends of the Akabwezi family, then uh, and his brothers and sisters. Ben's mother is a great fan of mine. Last year, at our 25th year anniversary as a state, I honored Ben with a lifetime achievement award, and the mother came to receive it. She waited patiently to thank me and to say that I was that I'm doing I was doing a good work and prayed that God will help me through this very challenging task. So it's not only Ben's mother, God, but also my mother too. So I'm happy to be here. On behalf of the family, her son, Mr. Ben Akabwezi, appreciated everyone. Well, thank you. I know that it's not easy to organize your program to be able to be with us and to join us in paying last respects to our departed mother. That wrapped up the service and her body was taken to the Akabweze family compound for interment. It was indeed an emotional moment. My mom was a woman with a heart of gold. She just loved and, and served and served till the very end. And we just thank God for you know having had her as a mom. And we pray that her legacy will live. She was a great woman, a woman of influence. She did her bit, you know, but it's just that um, we were not prepared for her exit. Um, so it's painful. Condolence visits continued with reception and refreshment at the community civic center. She was a wonderful woman. I know her personally. Very good woman. Mama has lived a very fulfilled life and has left, she has left a huge legacy. The Alton service at St. Gabriel's Catholic Church was a solemn one as the family all gathered to thank God for a successful burial of their matriarch. This service wrapped up the three-day ceremony to celebrate the life and times of Mrs. Rosen Izimma Akabwezi. And for her children, they're indeed fulfilled having given their mother the burial she truly deserves.